Hi Steve and Dun and Dun gonna be testing probably based on who's in the chat today. Sending all my notifications out. I'm trying to find the uh, Hi my old din here for some imperfect tat tread. Making sure I found all of those who want a notification. Okay, I believe I have, um, so, um, my old din, I guess we'll be starting with my old din's map here. Let me make sure I have the latest version of it. I think it's PCH dash final, but let me make sure I found his most recent post.
PCH-V4. I just saw that file link. So I don't know how I got PCH-Final I'll unzip PCH-V4. Load that up with the com along with the CC4 text. Yep, I got PCH V4 now. I PCH final dated on February 6th. But that's actually all done. Uh oh. What happened now? Oh, I can't. I need to adjust my um screen here. Okay, how's m how's my screen, my old and done and Steve's and Steve, uh, not Steve's. Uh. I'm trying to find the name of this map so I can introduce it. Perfectly Cromulent Hatred is the name of this map. Yep. Um, I'm playing through V Doom 2.8.1. And this is Imperfect Hatred, 6 hour speed maps resembling episode, resembling some gimmicks of episode 4 map 2 of Ultimate Doom and using the community chest for textures. Let's get started. Hot stout with Keiko Demons! Yes, yeah, let the Keiko Demons soak up some of the gunno damage. All chat and commentary is always welcome. So this looks like it's a tech-based style perfected hatred map.
No, mm, the cyber demon turret. I recommend those Keiko demons don't show up until after the bows are down. Maybe they could teleport or may maybe they could appear or something. Because then the fireballs won't just hit the wall. And they're always welcome but my other viewers think about any commentary or feedback I give. Yes, I knew that was going to be a trap coming, of course. Whoa. Little hellish cave of lava here. Uh oh. My chat is not updating on the phone. Mm, okay, it's up to date. Ooh, I can get that 400 health. Navigation by lava. Hi Steve, welcome back. Oh, there's a circle of barons. With the plasma gun. Yep, this is I think the first tech base pulse in pulse cartridge you've seen. Right to run out though, not nice. <laughs> Why not have the outvial spawn on the upper level so he can actually resurrect stuff? I'd recommend keeping note of any feedback I give as I provided, by the way. Oh, I... Oh, um, I did test man with a guns earlier, just Steve wasn't on that one, but that was a cool tech base as well. 
Yeah, I think the outside will be spawning in the upper level where the barons are would make more sense. Again, I welcome thoughts of any feedback and commentary I get from anyone in the chat. Ooh. Uh oh. I think I'm soft back to death here. Yep, I'm I believe I'm in an uh a no win si my old and am I in a no win situation at the moment? No, I don't think... I think you can make edits until like 11.59 on Wednesday. Actually, you can make edits after the deadline. You can make edits after the deadline. You, you just can't submit a new map after the deadline. Yup, let me try and... Not get myself in a no win situation. I should have given Steve the official pelt. Hmm. Mean me. Best to kill them before I get on the lava. Okay. Hmm. Can I get that with only one tick? Yes. K again, those mancubi, I think it's too easy to kill those mancubi just like this. See if you can have them not appear until the bows are open. This setup seems cheesable. Yeah, whenever those bows and enemies that shoot projectiles I would try to have them not appeal until the bows have been released. Or do a solid door instead. The death to the toad cyber demon. See that what a that what bows should be like. If bows are okay if there's no enemies behind them or if there's just hit scanners behind them. Or if I have to actually go into the area to wake the enemies up like that was a nice little surprise with those hell knights. Couldn't see them. I try to make the other Hell Knight wake up when I shoot one of them if possible. Okay, I've gotten a couple Discord messages I need to keep myself up with here. Hmm, okay. 
Nothing major. Hopefully Death Bell of Death can make it. Says he's having a few connection issues. Oh! I completely forgot about Mr. Toet down. Oh, no, I don't want to fall down on that side. Have an outvial teleport him when I get the yellow cloud, maybe? that kind of looked like the, I was making the scenario to see an out vial down. Oh! Get out! Whoa! Hmm! I wonder why that trap didn't trigger earlier, but that's a mean... That's a mean one, and I think one Steve will get a laugh out of. Oh, I got the dreaded phone restart. I hate those phone restarts. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait till my phone boots up again to continue here. Oh, hi, Rock. Yes, I play keyboard and mouse. Okay, just getting this booted back up on my phone. Oh, FTX Vial is live right now with 38 viewers. It's a lot of activity today. Yep, sometimes there is. He's a very good player playing Debt in Excess. I just happened to catch that when I was reloading things on my phone after my phone restarted, which I've got back up now so we can continue. Okay, that definitely seemed like a little bit of an anti-climax for the ending, though. So... I don't think I found any visual items to complain about in the level at all. It's a good tech base. Good tech base. I'd... Spice up the ending some... Avoid having... Projectile enemies behind bows like that. Have... Have them not spawn in until the bows are open or don't use bows. Yeah, you can just add like an extra monster or so with them in like a minute or so and you can make edits after the deadline. Have the out vial with the blue key spawn where the barons are instead of down in the lava below. I meant um the enemies behind bows and 
maybe an out vial with the yellow key as well. I mean, I kind of, I kind of thought after I killed all those enemies around the yellow key that when I pick up the yellow key itself, an out vial will come storming in. It was a solid, good-looking map and all. So, done and done, would you like me to try one of your maps? Clean tech base, especially for only six hours of work, it's a clean one. Is Dwelling your newest one? That's the one I was thinking of. Let me look in my messages. I was thinking of the CC4 text single map. Yes, more CC4 text, incidentally. Got a, yup, it's dwelling is, uh, it's an entry for Max Dot Project, which, are you talking about the Doombold Maximum Project 2021? I don't know exactly what that's referring to. Uh, okay, don't have to load CC4 text with it. Oh, an entry for Obsidian's Maximum... Po yep, it's an entry for the Doombold Maximum Project 2021, which read a couple years without much in the way of those Doombold Mega Projects and Doombold Maximum Projects. Um, the download link you have says Cut Textures, so I'll load the CC4 text. Do I need the .bak file in the zip for anything? Oh, you just cut the unused textures. Do I need the .bak file in the zip for anything? Oh, you anything? just cut the unused textures. Do I need the .bak file in the zip for oh, anything? Oh, you just cut the unused... Oh, okay, I don't need that. Okay, so I'll just... Just the wad file. I actually don't know what W Cleano is, but I'm not the level mate. Go. Oh. oh, and thanks, my old dim, for joining on your map, of course. Welcome to stay if you want. I hope my video was useful and my feedback was useful. Oh, I actually didn't know that. About unused textures. Okay, so this is Demon Kind's Dwelling, a map for the Doombolt 2021 Maximum Project. Using some community chest for textures. Whoa! There's 465 manstos in this one. Oh, Steve will love not an easy map by any means, trust me.
My my stream and voice quality good tier. I'm using V Doom 2.8.1. <laughs> yeah, it sort of is a sandbox outdoors. I tend to think of a sandbox as a map in which you can go anywhere you want at any time. But nice big outdoor areas are good. Whoa! That does do damage. Are you able to understand my voice all right, Dundum, by the way? Yeah, that was a nice detail already. It's like an upside down volcano or something. Uh oh, um. Maybe I do need to load CC4 text because there's like a hall of mirrors or a missing texture right over there. I wonder if a texture got cut that should not have been cut. Would you like me to load CC4 text because maybe a texture got cut that shouldn't have been cut? Usually that's what a missing text... Usually that's what a missing texture looks like, possibly. Okay, there's not supposed to be any texture above the... Like, there's not supposed to be any texture where I've no clip to heal. Yes, yeah, that is what it looks like to me, Steve, which makes me think that I should load CC4 text. But Dundun says it's supposed to just be a sky there. Do you want me to play to Z G Z Doom instead of Z Doom? Oh, there's another upside-down volcano over there. Okay. Oh, I would think- I thought there was gonna be a red key door. It's just a plain old ordinary lock door. Okay, this- there's a misalignment here. It's a little subtle, but I think you can see it. And over here as well, on both sides of this window. Yep, I'm using Z Doom on which does show more arrows than GZ Doom does. The GZ Doom suppresses most slime trails. Yep, it's happening. Uh, the same thing. Yeah, I I see now the one unit wide sector. Is it necessary? Like, it would look better, in my opinion, if it wasn't there, but it might need to be there. Oh, I can enter through the back here if I want to. Oh, I don't mind you backseating at all. I actually appreciate whatever chat I can get and thoughts about my commentary and feedback. Okay, now this is simply a misalignment. And probably on the other side as well. 
And it looks like that entry into the back is the only entry I've got. Okay, these stairs are all misaligned. I don't know if that can be done anything about. You won't backseat thing done and done. Oh, I thought that would be a yellow key door. Okay, so this is almost like a Half-Life or Duke Nukem vent shaft. It's a very quiet start to what I've been warned is not an easy level. I've heard this music in some rather dark levels before. There's a map Ultima Mantoid did in Dying Camel Demons 2 that had this music in it. First action. Oh, nice little down arrow texture there. I'd probably go with something just a little bit less than four bright here or add some more lighting. Okay, these are also misaligned. Oh, it's another... It's actually with this one unit wide sector that they're misaligned. And just when I talked about Z Doom, GZ Doom suppressing slime trails, there is indeed a slime trail in this map, right on the bottom center of my screen. I agree with Steve there, but I've seen authors before who don't want to fix misalignments. I mean, it's not going to stop me from testing the level. There is a, sli is a slime trail showing on my screen. Yes, slime trails are usually fixed, I think, with moving about. Oh, yep, and there's, there's quite a few of them here. There's probably some, I mean, like, the, this is obviously, it looks like a circle, it's not in reality a circle. You can't make circles in Doom. There's probably some badly placed vertices. Circles, that's like they though. Whoa! Run out the room and got my first help.
infighting can do me some well kill. Whoa! Whoa! Except, well, I want to save my rockets here because I need them for the out vials when they show up. I want to try and get infighting in here. Because I need those rockets for the out vials. Oh! Oh, I can use those pistons as hiding spots. I need another piston as a hiding spot. Once those outrails show up, it's business time! I don't want to be hitting anything but the outrails, please! Ugh! Stupid snag on the pillow! Come on! I need to get this down to at least one out vial as quickly as possible! Two out vials in this room is completely owning me! Yeah, I know those probably lower difficulties. I'm hoping not to need to. Why do I keep getting hit by something else? Is there an outwell dead heal yet? I think I'm finally down to only one out vial. Man, those two out valves gave me a tough time. I like how those witches end up looking. Okay, I think this should be a transition texture instead of the brick texture. Oh, hi, Nate. Yeah, the switches are cool here. Oh! Look what little treasure I didn't pick up earlier. Oh, that's okay, Nate. Thanks for dropping by. Well, that just looks so easy, doesn't it?
And this is why I use the blue key. Oh, um, since you're giving a blue skull key, I'd either change the blue skull key to a blue key card, or I change the blue key card texture to a blue skull key texture. And in either case, keep it consistent. I never, I never saw you say anything about optional set pieces. Let me check the thread again. Well, I don't always read the thread format, so I'll look, um... Um, despite the master count, the map is set-piece oriented with very light slot on the encounters are somewhat compact, but not too hard as I was going for. I didn't see anything about optional set pieces. So it's big and difficult, but not as hard as Map 6 of Bloodbath. Well, just because I can skip it doesn't mean I want to skip it. So the blue key... I'd make it either blue cowed or change this to a blue skull texture. Oh! That's an- oh, that's a nasty back spawn. Like, I need to... Not... Wait for that stuff to low oh. oh! Guess what your- I guess what this auto's gimmick is! One is much easier to handle than two though. This is a blind playthrough, by the way. You had mentioned you'd like you have yet to see any blind playthroughs in the thread. Yeah, there I do gotta move quick and pick this stuff up later. We've got some terracotta textures in the Doom map here. Like those little bricks, those are terracotta. Wait, they look like the Quake has them just in different colors. I need to get the Cyber Demon as far away from the lift as possible. And again, there's some slime trails associated. 
Now, GZ Doom completely suppresses the slime trails. There are some slime trails connected to the vertices and this circle. I wonder if it's an arrow pattern of some kind in the design. You're going to get in the lift just as it's about to raise. No, there isn't an SS- there's not been an SSG yet. Okay, that looks like a yellow key door, but it's not a yellow key door. Yeah, I've had PR, PR Boom Plus gave me slime trails. GL Boom might not. GZ Doom, even if it, even in its software mode, suppresses slime trails. Oh, Blue Door back at the beginning. Access locked. Oh, and I need the red key before I can actually do that. So I need to find the red key. There's a switch in that same place that to open up the other side. Here, you mean. So I gotta go back into this room. Well, there's a switch that needs a red key that I haven't found yet. I don't see any other switches in this room. Oh, okay, the one before the blue key site. So this way. The area before the blue key site. No, it's not that switch. That switch lets me get out. Oh! Over there. Maybe that needs to be a little bit better mouth. That'll open up the door that was mouthed with the appropriate texture. I think they could use to be mouthed a little better the door, maybe. And this I never even noticed until just now. So that red floor does damage. I've never seen that particular texture used as a floor texture. Mm. 
That's not the switch. Oh, nope, it's a shoot switch. Yup, lock me in. And now make me tag this witch or get if out you gonna. No, that I can. I don't have to shoot that switch. And all of a sudden, we're being hunted. Woo! Three of them! Four of them! Okay, this must be a timed teleport of some kind. Are these- is this like a time warp-in of some kind? Okay, that must have been some kind of like time warp-in. I thought you have a revenant come a revenant or hit guy or to come in as well to gum things up. Okay, what does that switch do? I guess I'll just continue. Yeah, that ouchie that took five rockets caused me to get blasted by it, him too. Oh, okay, so it's probably gonna be... This switch opens that... No, it doesn't. Oh, it's a touch plate, just like in Quake. Okay, not out. Not out. Piece of cake. Getting a little bit hot though. Uh, okay, so this is like an escalation game, isn't it? So I set off the touch plate, Quake style, to get things started. And then I'm in a game of escalation, basically. And nope, can't escape. Wait, where'd I find the super shotgun? I actually don't remember grabbing a super shotgun. Oh, he only took two hits. Nice. Okay, once the outwell shows up. Oh, hi, death bell of death. Uh oh! I don't have a lot of time here! Like it... It seems mine or false and it goes nuts all right. I must get that out by all. Uh, okay, that was a stroke of luck. I can let them infight for a little while till I've got another out vial. Oh, 
I would help me if I had enough health to get zapped at least once. Okay. Out valves are down, I'm safe. I just need to strafe around. Oh, hi, new house. Is an interesting map so far. Yeah, it's evil, and Steve loves evil, so. What a surprise! I love evil too. Steve isn't the person who taught me to love hard maps, but nonetheless I love hard maps. I like it. I think the, those health bonus combi bonuses combined with the blue ground pretty nicely. Yeah, I'm playing Dun and Dun's own map for the Doom World Maximum Project of 2021. On the Cyber Demons can get in here if they want to. Uh, Oh yeah, it sort of looked like a pyramid from this room. Oh! Hey! Feel like making a little comic here. Hey! You see me there? I'm pretty sure it is the curvy stuff that causes line trails, but I'm not a map maker, so I can't be sure on that. Line trails can be very annoying. It seems like you, you could use to give the cyber team just a little bit more room to make it in if you wanted that. Oh, so I can enter the door from either side. And now... The floor falls out from underneath me and I'm in the lava. The floor is lava! The floor is lava! Help! The floor is lava! And I need to get rid of that mastermind, though. So how do I get- how do I suddenly pick up a radiation suit that I can't even see? Like, there's clearly... There's nothing there. And all of a sudden I've got a radiation suit. That's like a really... We had, and that's a nice fire blue use too. Instapop monsters or Instapop monsters. Okay, this opening needs to be a little bit taller so that the 
Mastermind can actually shoot me. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a cool va That's a cool voodoo dal dal. Yeah, but see, I'm. The mastermind can't shoot me from here. It needs to be just a little. The lava area needs to be just a little bit higher. I can just pump shotgun hull. Which is more grind than fun in my opinion, but it is the best usage of my ammo. And it's just a shooting gallery at the moment. Oh, hi Shades and Austin Nardo. Oh yeah, it's a weak color tags and brick texture, probably. Oh, I guess I just killed the monkey by right away. Either way, this could maybe be... If this was about 20% higher, then it probably wouldn't offer such resistant cover. And there's a yellow play on the red texture. <laughs> okay, it's not, o it's not that often that you see two of the same key in the Doom level. So which one? Okay, so if I just take the teleport out... Oh, okay, the floor disappears again and I can have another chance. Though so that looks like it's the wrong floor texture. Which one? So you can have uh, the, this red key. Or... I can have this red key. And I get a different sight either way, but how does it matter? I can just take the teleporter right out. So yeah, I think this sight is... I like the idea how you've got the choice of the sight, but it's blatantly cheesable. I think there needs to be some bows here in front of the teleporter with the same sector tag as the red key lift so that you actually have to fight. Or well, not necessarily the same sector tag as the red key lift, just they start lowering when you pick up the red key. It's not a big fight either way, it doesn't look like. And again, the way... The way all the other aesthetics are designed in this map, I think the... These need to be score keys, not... These need to be key cards, not score keys. Ugh! Oh, well, it was nice. Thanks for dropping in, Shades.
Oh, another slime trail down. I think it was actually a bleed from the next room. I actually don't know what that switch does. What about your leg? Okay, so once I leave... Oh, I see. That switch lets me out. Okay, well now I have... Oh, I SpongeBob. Okay, I didn't. I didn't watch SpongeBob. Again, these look much more like. These are definitely key couch textures, and not score key textures, in my opinion as well. Access. Oh, wait a minute. I was a little bit too quick. I forgot something. That was not the only use we had for the red key. What do I like about Quake level design the most? That's like a really tough question. I I mean, I like the game in general. Of course, it, if it's Quake level design versus Doom level design, then it's... I mean, I guess it will probably be that it's true 3D and you can stack one area on top of another. Anyone notice the time on this room? Well, I know some of the encounters spawn in time mode. Oh, there's a switch down. Another out. Whoa! I need that BFG and invulnerability for that one. Okay, I need the... Okay, the Cyber Demon can't be that close. Okay. BFG wash. I need to find all the out valves as soon as possible. I think the, all the out valves are gone, which means I can survive it. A mega field too. No! Two cyber demons in- Three cyber demons in here, very- I don't think I'm gonna be able to leave this room with three cyber- Oh! No, Outrails can't resurrect pain elementals, oh. 
die or boss enemies. I've actually got some platforming I can do for the blue area of Odell. Come on! Whoa! I got out! Platforming into some blue heretic or hexen textures. Oh, and we've got the moving water, but here's another misaligned texture of note. Just go with the flow. Well, I definitely try and have the second Outvale wake up at the same time I wake up the first Outvale. Does that misaligned texture do anything? I think it's just because it's at a different height. <laughs> that I see at the moment. Oh, it's a secret area! And I've got a passage back to the outside as well if I want. Yup, I know that, but I've got a lot more supplies now. It's optional, but it rewards me with the BFG. Hello, Steve! Hello, Steve! You've got what you love, Steve! Maybe not a massive one, but... It's all Capellan's fault. A great mapper who made the original Keiko swarm. Certainly this would be a lot harder without that BFG to thin the horde out. And I'd have no I don't think I'd have a chain gun either. And I have a rocket launcher, but I don't have any rocket for it. that you would need the mantle black lines could help avoid them running away too far.
I still can't actually get inside. Hold on, I need to pause for a moment. So how do I actually progress from this point? Is there another switch? <laughs> There's another switch out here you found. I didn't find another switch. Oh, wait a minute. Is it that dark door that I don't even notice it's there? Yeah, I think it needs to be lit up just a little bit better. It's just totally invisible from a distance. I like that, I like that up a little bit though. Something told me maybe I don't want to do that. Yeah, that beep is when I mute my mic and unmute my mic. Sometimes I have to talk to Dad. So... Just ignore the beep, it just means mute my ma mute and unmute. I have a player noise when I mute and unmute so I can know it actually did mute and unmute. Oh, I can't have the enemies behind me. See if you can...
Oh, that's a bad... Oh, wait. Hello, my cell phone just ran out of power. I'm just waiting to see if I can get power back. It used up power faster than usual today. Must have had something else running. You're gonna get these. You're gonna get these emotes, and let me tell you, after this race, you're gonna be able to put them to good use. Oh, try to go. Yes, I can try to. Oh, make sure I'm unmuted. Yes, I yes. can try to. I can try to go on top of the Spider Mastermind. Sorry about this interruption. My phone charge lasted two hours just fine yesterday. Today it. I still thirty five percent left after two hours yesterday. Today I. Just all of a sudden randomly run out of power after an hour and a half. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'll play a little bit, probably check chat and the, and, and line one more time, and then by the time I finish with that, I should have my phone back up again. So jump on top of the spider mastermind. Well, it doesn't help me, but I can't do anything either. And, well, if I fall, I'm dead like that fast. And I'm thinking those torches should probably be impassable. I'm not sure it does any harm, though. Wait, no, because it, it, it just gives me another way to handle the mastermind. But still, I suspect I'm not supposed to jump on top of those torches like I just did. Hug oh, told me to jump for the mastermind when he had one health point left. Okay, let me look at my chat. Well, I have a BFG, but I'm not going to use a BFG for some, for, a, for a monster that's not that dangerous to me. Oh, 
Oh, fake switch as a teleporter, huh? Well, now I'd have a BFG in any case. Okay, so what looked like a yellow door, it's still not a yellow... Okay, I think that lift needs to be marked better. I kind of just found out randomly that was a lift. This is not, in my opinion, a lift texture. I mean, I know it's being used as a lift texture on this map, but this is not something I typically assume to be a lift texture here. So the yellow switch is on top. Okay, checking chat. Oh, and we've got a nice sky transfer here though. Maybe adjust it so there's not the tiling there? Very cool map and all. Power time of 240? Could not do this map in 2 hours, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. I would think you could actually fit one more cyber demon in the exit with some ammo by where the yellow switches so it's not quite as much of an anti-climax otherwise I think I gave my feedback in I gave all my feedback as I was playing the level what do the other viewers on my chat think here and death bear of death I know I'm late but I'll, c I'll play and I'll play at least one of the imperfect Hatred maps if you're still interested in it. Just tell me which one you'd like me to do. No, I'm asking Death Bear of Death. Um, he said that he. I offered to test his maps for imperfect hatred. I think he has two of them. Okay, I'll do Kako for Nuss Intent for imperfect hatred. I hope what feedback I did give was useful. I tried to give it all as I was playing the level. It's kind of a bit much of it for me to remember it all, but hopefully it was useful as I was playing. Here I am going to download, and as this is an imperfect Hatred map, it's also another map that uses the community chest for textures. So, Kekafonus Intent. db.clv1.wad Do I have the downloaded already? Yup, I do. Nice, Steve! <laughs> hmm. Oh, you... Thanks for being on, Dun and Dun, and you're always welcome to come on any stream, whether it's your maps or not. You're always welcome to be on when I go live. It's um, on the weekdays, same time I went live 
today and on the weekends, at least on Saturdays, it's an hour and a half sooner than that. was a pretty good map and all. You're welcome, done and done. Have a good night. I didn't copy. CC oh, I cut instead of copying by accident. Can't do that. It's not gonna. It won't let me cut paste onto zdoom.exe. Oh, look! It's another tech base. It's another impulsive tech base to enjoy. This is Cacophonous Intent by Death Bear of Death, which much like my Olden's map is the first, first map I've ever played from this author. Though he's got a, he's got a, he's got a brand new secret level in the previous event, Clandestine Castle Crashing. Let me set up the chart on my phone again now that I'm able to. I don't know what on my phone was using up all that extra power. Oh, thanks for follow, Death Bell, Death. By the way, before I start this map, that secret level in Clandestine Castle Crashing, did you make that one in eight hours? Look pretty big for something made in eight hours. I know Blue Pineapple by Sable took nine hours to make the super secret level. Well, yeah, 100 secrets is nuts. If someone wants me, if someone, if anyone, if I'll actually pull the chat right now. Do you want to see me? It won't be today, but maybe in a later day. Try to find as many secrets as possible on a level that, as Death Bell just spilled the beans, has 100 secrets in it, and you can leave it at any time you want, but the goal is obviously to find as many secrets as possible. But with that out, I'm going to also get started with Cacophonous Intent here. <laughs> You've always got that back way in an imperfect hatred map, usually. Something's taking me to a new area. That was a secret. Well, won't be today, Steve. I don't think I'm not gonna have time today, but y'all yeah, take that as a request. The whole level is about finding a secret, finding the next secret.
if I kill the gun though, that I can get a lot of infighting done here. So yes, there are a lot of perfect hatred switcher rooms in this can in this contest or compilation. In other words, what if perfect hatred was a map in was a CC4 tech based map? What blue armor I'm looking for? I don't see a blue armor, Steve. Oh wait, I have 200 armor, I must have picked it up. Yes, the map is in the screen, the screen Death Bell of Death. Oh, dead end. Got to grab the rob suit and head back. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to have to use almost all my ammo for those Keiko demons. And like magic, they're not plugging my way back this time. Maybe I should have made feedback for my olden's map that slime would go better than lava in a tech base. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, some of these tech bases, some of these tech bases is for, with the community chest 4 techs look really cool. Especially for 6 hour speed maps. Sometimes with these visuals in the tech base bases, I keep forgetting that these are actually speed maps. But the CC4 text is particularly well acclimated to the tech base theme. Okay, so this level is built around slime, it seems. Well, Mouch, it's gonna be a wildy one, dude. It's officially been announced on the Discord, in fact. Okay, I think those... Those... Let me just... It clip to show. Those... The Cyber Demon should not be at... A lower height here, probably. Because by being at a lower height, he's not as effective as a turret. See, his rocket keeps snagging.
and you can make by the way um, my olden wasn't aware of this so I should mention that you you can make a small edit after the deadline for these contests you just can't add you can't add brand new areas or make new levels Okay, there's nothing else to do here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Oh yeah, there's this way to go as well. With the backpack. But no thanks, I don't go to school or college at the moment, so I don't need one. Okay, there's a misalignment on this tail and this tail. Incidentally, there are different stairs on each side. The second... There's a the misalignment on a different stair on each side. And there's a misalignment here and here as well. Okay, my idea that this should progress similar to the original perfect hatchet is not... Oh, okay. Platforming time, it's from the center. I can't go this way yet. Destroy that barrel. Oh, okay, so here's out. Here's out. This will pass as a tech-based theme, quote unquote, cave with demons. Brushing teeth, as Ultima Mantoid calls it. And yes, that was a risky move, I know. I think the enemies in this area could use to be a little more dangerous. Oh, and I always welcome, um, since there's mostly new members in the chat now since I last said this, I always welcome what other members in the chat think about any commentary or feedback I give in addition to their own commentary or feedback. Yeah, it is a good lighting bulb here. Again, especially for a six hour speed map. Whoa! Okay, this transition area is misaligned. Okay, good. Squall key, key cards in a tech based map. I like that. This is also misaligned. I 
I don't see any webs in this area yet. Am I gonna see them trying to escape? This is how I get out. Oh! That was Sneaky Chain Gunner with Sneaky Chain Gunner. I didn't see. You're gonna get to see me kill the Outvile again. And yes, Blue Pineapple officially announced it. Next month is gonna be a rowdy one. So better play some and get familiar with it if you haven't already. Yup, don't let him get me again. You know how they say, fool me once, shame and you, fool me twice, shame and me. Oh, there's even lightning above the lightning above the crate. Very well lit air, lighted area. Oh! Man, was I lucky not to get hit by either of those fireballs. Yeah, Rudy 1 was... was only Doom Kids. Rudy 2 is about 5 maps by Doom Kid in it, but it's a community project. Well, there's the Rev of the Promised Revenant. But I'd be meanie, I'd be Mr. Mean Guy and close some be- fast close some bows behind the player right over here so that the retreat I did isn't passable. And also close a bow here. At least like a 30 second bow close. Or have a switch that opens them back up. Okay, these are misaligned. What opened there? See, that does not need a red key even though it looks like it might. And here's a cacophonous intent. I'd better get some more ammo before those Keiko demons block me. I've no, I've only, the only usable ammo I have is one rocket and 28 bullets. Oh, come on! More jumps for access. They are cool. Oh. Uh oh! Whoa! Second time you got me with chain gun those down.
death bell of chain gun nose. Your quality map that I literally, I never ever heard of him before. I don't even, does he, I don't even know if he has a Doom World account. I've never seen him completely out of the blue. I've never seen him before, any map from him. I don't even know if he made any maps prior to January or February of 2021. Very mean map or two, man. I don't got any ammo. You have three good maps. I, I know it probably feels like more than three maps because oh well this does need a transition in my opinion. Heal and heal. And this is misaligned. As is the upper part of that window. Nice that I get the chainsaw. Uh, uh oh. Oh, there's a hit scanner trying to get me somewhere. Oh, Revenant got him for me. And I got an insight. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You won't even get to wake up. See? You won't even get to know the time of day. December 2019 Did you start on December 2020 or December of 2019 because I didn't see you do anything I didn't see you I didn't see any maps you made in 2020 No, texture alignment in some places is, the, is something I could use some work, but it's minor compared to the gameplay. Still pointing them all out. Especially given every all you've managed to do in just six hours here, you know, my goodness. I mean, who thinks this was made in six hours? Okay, um, this is misaligned, and this needs a transition. I hope you're keeping note of all these little visual feedbacks I'm giving as I provide them. They're getting too numerous for me to remember all of them. But they're all small things when you've got the gameplay down. As well as the border aspect of the visuals.
Well, it doesn't feel like a particularly copy-pasted map, which is good. No, I heal you and I see you this time. Sort of like episode 6 map 1 of Wolfenstein 3D. Enemies waiting in every alcove. Man, that's an annoying level. This one isn't an annoying level. And transitions. Transit. Actually, those are close enough in color that they might not need a transition. So this is an unusually big area compared to the area in Perfect Hatcher that it's meant to represent. This does need a transition though. Misalignments and transition textures. Like, see, I don't think this needs a transition, but this does need a transition, in my opinion. Well, when I, I guess when I say transition, I use it interchangeably with border texture. So yes, whenever I said transition, I mean border texture. I actually wonder how the episode 4 sky is gonna look in all these tech bases, though. The final ward is supposed to have the episode 4 sky instead of this gray community chest 4 sky. Oh well, here's all the, here's all the goats. So does that need a blue key? I actually don't know if that, uh, that requires a blue key or not. Let me look at my auto map. Yes, that, that, we, oh wait a minute. I might have noticed an arrow here. Just by looking at my auto map. I don't see blue in Oh no, they all need the blue key. Look down the auto map like one of them doesn't need a blue key. Now it doesn't look that way anymore. I'd add a switch over here though. Yeah, that's not a lift. Um. Just to make me stay out with the, with the Hell Knight and the Bounds a little longer, I'd, I'd switch here though, to open. Okay, it's a little hard for me to show what I do when there's, there's this many enemies around. Fight foes talk later. Oh, thanks, Cyber Demon. I put. I put a bow over here, closed, and. 
a switch over here to open that bow. So I have to stay out in the open for a little bit longer. And then fix the rockets with, from the cyber demon getting caught a little bit often. Still easy peasy. Okay, this is... Have I been here before? Yeah, that, that's a copy-paste, but it's a very small thing to copy-paste, on the other hand. <sighs> what looks like one pout you missed? So I wasn't following the chat for a moment. And hopefully... If Steve thinks the E-Force guy will look great with the tech bases, then... Steve, then the E-Force guy will look great with the tech bases. I mean, after all, I think he used the E-Force guy in Shotgun Symphony. Okay, something tells me that Red Key isn't as safe as it looks. Yeah, I'm gonna say be mean. Maybe put a little more health in this line, but don't let me retreat out of the room. I think it would be nice if it was mandatory for me to fight to you to you to Sight in the slime to kill the ouch vials. Oh, you do have a rat suit. Okay. So you don't even need to do anything. Uh-oh! 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 Oh, Outwell kept falling down. Oh, he fell too. To his death. Yeah, I would say don't make it a lot harder at least to leave this area to fight the out valve. Make it try to persuade the player to fight the out valve and the other monsters from within the slime instead of retreating.
Okay, why do I keep taking damage randomly on one of these steps? And these steps are... These steps are misaligned. Okay, there's some randomly set damaging floor on one of these steps that I'm guessing is an arrow. See how this player mutated? Oh, they're all damaging? I see. Because they're electrified, probably. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Is that they're electrified? So much to nice job dodging the Revenant rocket. I need another radiation suit. And there isn't another radiation... Oh no, there should be another radiation suit. There's two sides to that. I don't see... Also, why can't I use that red key switch? I don't understand why I can't use the red switch here. Yeah, I'd make this area harder to leave but probably also supply two rad suits instead of one. Oh, but there is more health here. I've had enough with these revenants! And he doesn't want to die! <laughs> well, it would be easier to get a closer shot if I had two rod suits. Which I would recommend to make it harder to leave this area, this northern area, once I go inside. But have two rad suits in there instead of one.
Yeah, this northern area in general, make it harder to retreat back. Maybe make both of those red switches be tagged, but have two rad suits in the slime instead of one. And of course we'll get a little Keiko Swarm on Keiko 5 phone us in tanks. And those, those steps being 20% damage can be a little bit annoying if I take a random damage tick from them. Could you maybe do 10% damaging steps instead of 20%? Okay, just some out valves to prevent me from cheesing the exit. Oh! But I gotta kill them fast, too! Yes, so for this whole northern area, what I do is tweak the steps, have two rad suits instead of one, but make it such that at least both of the way, such that the area closes off as soon as I get, make it such that all these exit, exits close off as soon as I get the red key, and I need to at least zip both of the red switches in order to retreat back to the south. And I think that's a map there. Little more, little, let we do this platforming last bit. And really the main issue was that with the northern area and then the misalignments and border textures but a really promising map in six hours from an author I've never played a map from or hardly even heard of before. A very substantial outing too. So what did my chat think? And yeah, this is gonna be the end of the stream. I ended up going over two hours again. I often target one hour on these streams and I just keep getting longer every single day, but when those mappers in the chat, I don't want to disappoint them. And tomorrow, who would be interested if I opened with trying to find a hundred different secrets? Provided I don't have a playtesting request at least. Actually, it might be Thursday, I forgot. Tomorrow I might have a friend Eggboy on who sent me a request, which I'll be opening with that if he's on tomorrow. He's got two nice little short maps. It might not be the whole stream. I'm glad you enjoyed everyone. 
Hold on, I got a mute for a moment. Glad you enjoyed, I know I've... I'm even my throat's gonna eventually get worn out if I go this long every day on the streams, but... I'll... Someday they, I'll deal with that if and when it happens. Some days will probably be short, though I... Definitely enjoy playing and streaming maps when the map is out in the chat and if I offer to play a map and stream before I do a stream and then the map will make it to the chat, well, I wanna come through on my all files. And to anyone still to did to death bell, um if you're interested, I have a Discord server. I'll post a link in the chat, just if you're interested in that. Should have done this when Dun and Dumb was in the chat as well. Oh, I did have a nade. Oops. Okay, <laughs> so that's my Discord for anyone interested who's on the chat now and not already on my Discord. And I do take viewer requests, by the way, there's a channel for that. So, I'm glad you all enjoyed, and yes, that, that was a very, very nice map for six hours, I agree. I'm gonna be signing off now, and I'll be, I'll be going live at the same time again tomorrow. Probably short, though, but I say that every day, and they only end up being longer. But... I fun and that's what's important. I always enjoy the chat and appreciate all the viewers. Stout a little slow today, but man it got going, it was a blast. So thanks everyone and have a good night.